Good day YouTube. Today's the 11th of March 2021. This is my new to me used Lance camper. Um, been cleaning it up, doing a little bit of upgrading here and there. I'll make a few videos and uh, today we're going to address something. i got a little bit of time that's been bugging me every time I come to the back of this and that is the cover for the water heater. And you can see the uh, paint is not very good on it. It's pretty straight, but the paint is needing fixing. Um, I don't know how well it turns out in the camera, but the camper's not exactly white. It's kind of a creamy off-white. If you were to buy like a new water heater and replace that, the cover would be white. And I kind of think it would look a little odd. But I recently worked on the front of a golf cart it had a very similar color and I needed a little bit of paint of course I had bought a can of spray paint and I've got a lot of it left so I think what we're gonna do is sand this cover down and uh, get it all primed up today it's kind of late in the day and then tomorrow we're gonna paint it using the paint that I had left over from the golf cart because it's kind of a almost a tan it's kind of an off-white antique white kind of thing. I think it will match pretty good so uh, it won't cost anything. Let's get it done. Let's get this thing off of here. I brought a couple nut drivers with me. I think it's going to be a quarter inch, but it's been a while since I've looked at it. Oh, fail. It's going to be a Phillips. So I'll be right back with the right tool. All right, right tool for the job. Kind of a clamp looking thing there. Maybe that's enough. All right, let me pull this off and we'll get her out there. We can work on it. All right, in the bucket of water here, we're working with a sheet of 220, wet and dry, and a sanding sponge. Um, it's just a piece I had pre cut. I cut a sheet into three pieces for something else and uh, it was ready to roll so we were running with it um no coarser than 220 320 might be a little more appropriate but it's just a cover it's gonna cut pretty quick i think tougher than I thought it was going to be. That's a, that's a... Not the best working surface, but it was available.
All right, it's pretty close. I'm gonna rinse this off and uh, put her in the sun to dry for a minute. All right, wiped it all off with a towel. Got her sitting in the sun. We're gonna hit it with the Rust-Oleum primer. And then we're gonna paint it after the primer's dry with the Rust-Oleum high gloss. And this again is that color that I had uh, picked for my golf cart. Little fender repair. Got them all shook up and everything. Warming in the sun. We're gonna go around and we're gonna hit the edges and all the hard to get spots first. And then a light coat. And then come back and a heavy coat on top of that. And let her dry. Spray off an inconspicuous area to get the paint flowing properly. And we'll hit the louvers real quick from two sides, two directions. All right. Sorry, I kicked you. All right, we'll let that dry for a few minutes and we'll come back and hit her a good hard second coat and we're back to hit it again Tip is dripping. That's going to leave a mark. Overlapping strokes, nice and heavy. All right. Looks good. It actually could dry pretty good in the sun. It's actually, sun's pretty good right now. Let's uh, give it a little time. We might be able to put the paint on it yet today. What do you say we put a little paint on this thing? It's dry enough. dry enough. If it didn't dry by now, it had a great opportunity to do so. There we go. Same deal. Light coat on the beginning. Nice overlapping strokes there. Keeping it light. There we go. Let's give that a moment. It is ready for another coat. Now we're going to go the other direction so we don't stripe it. Half overlap, 
We go quick. We'll let that tack up a little bit. We're gonna hit her one more time. And we're back for a third coat. You see the shadow changing while it was drying? It's just a little tacky yet, but it'll take it. It's a little tacky yet. It's going to dry all night. Here we go. Well, gang, that's gonna look great. Gonna look like brand new. Be pop you off, get you a little closer. There you go. What do you think? She's looking pretty good, right? All right, that's how we do her. He was almost in real time. The only thing you guys didn't have to wait for was the paint to dry. Other than that didn't take very long at all we'll put that back on tomorrow it's gonna look awesome guys thanks for watching commenting, and subscribing hit the thumbs up on the way out and join us back for some other interesting videos we painted up the old water heater cover with the rust-oleum we had on hand catch you guys on the next one